A 82 kilogram fisherman in a 112 kilogram boat throws a package of mass of 15 kilograms horizontally toward the right with a speed of 5 meters per second. Neglecting water resistance and assuming the boat is at rest before throwing the package, find the velocity of the boat after the package is thrown and the direction. So we have the mass of the fisherman, which is 82 kilograms, the mass of the boat, which is 112 kilograms, the mass of the package, 15 kilograms and the velocity of the package being thrown. And notice that it says the boat is at rest before the package is thrown, which means that the velocity of the boat initially is going to be zero. And <clears throat> they kind of throw this in here to make it tricky. They say um, initial velocity, but when the, the boat is at rest and no thing causing the boat to move is the package being thrown. So that means that when the pack or when the boat's at rest, the package is at rest too. So this is actually going to be the final velocity for this case. So our VI, our initial velocity of our package is going to be zero meters per second also. So we can use these two equations. The total momentum of the two of the system of two particles, because we have the mass of the boat with the man and then the package. And we can use the conservation of linear momentum, which states that conservation is always going to be conserved. So the, the final momentum is going to equal the initial momentum. So we have we can add these two up, the mass of the fisherman and the boat, because he's sitting in the boat and he's part of one of the particles. So 82 plus 112 gives us 194 kilograms for the total mass of the boat and the fisherman. So we can write our equation, PF is equal to PI, so the mass total of the man and the boat times the velocity of the man and the boat, or the boat, plus the mass of the package times the velocity of the package. And that's going to be the final. Over here, we're going to have the initial but since velocity is zero for both of them, that means these are going to be zero and the whole right side of the equation is zero. So that means we can solve over for the velocity of the boat, so we'll have negative mass of the package times the velocity of the package divided by the mass of the man and the boat is going to equal our velocity of the boat with the man in it. So we have the mass of the package is 15 kilograms times the velocity of the package, 5 meters per second. Divided by the total mass, 194 kilograms. Gives us a value of negative 0 0.387 meters per second. And that negative sign is just going to indicate that the boat's going to be going to the left if the man, here's the picture of it, 
So if the man throws a package to the right, the boat's going to go to the left. Just throwing the package to the right. 